guys, what is going on? And welcome to the video. Uh, I'm pretty excited for today. It's like a nice, pretty overcast, so I'm hoping we can get a couple bites. Um, my plan for today is to catch some bluegill and then use them as bait for some bigger bass. So I hope that'll work. And as you know, I like my intro short. So let's go ahead and get to fishing. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and catch our bait. Get some, get some bread. And just make a really tiny ball with it. Keep that right there. This is what we want. No air pockets. So it'll sink right down to the bottom. And then just put it on the hook. Pinch it down. And just like so. Alright, there's a ton of tilapia, I don't want to catch them. Oh, this one, this is going to be a good day. You can only tell I saw a bass jump over there. That finger got bit by an ant while I was recording the intro though. That's not fun, but thankfully it wasn't a fire ant. There's so many bluegill. I wish you guys could see this, but GoPro sadly does not have a polarized lens. And I know I could put my glasses over top of it, but I've already tried that. It doesn't work. Okay. But you guys can watch my barber. Good one. Good bait. Good bait. Actually, we'll leave you in the water real quick. Oh, no, turtle. There's a turtle coming. You know, we're actually going to go ahead and put this guy out as bait. So, I'm going to unhook you real quick. It's actually the perfect size. And then grab a hook right here. Right through. Right through the nose. And out the mouth. And then we are going to cast this guy. Out off the pier. I think it's not a pier, but you get the point. And just pop. And no, I actually want it deeper. I, even though I saw a fish jump here, there's a ton more out there jumping, so I'm gonna just get you way out there. There you go. No one saw that. I'm gonna cut that out. Get it way under the dock. Oh, fish just stole my bait. Oh. <laughs> Sucks. That bluegill is going crazy over there. That's good. Hope he doesn't get eaten by a turtle though. There are just so many turtles over here. I hate turtles so much. Look, look at this guy. Oh, he just went away. He's scared of me. I've caught that turtle at least five times. That guy just ate up and ate my cord. Like what? Okay. Let's go ahead and fill the old bait bucket with some water. I almost fell in. There we go. Climb back up and get this guy unhooked. These guys are actually perfect size for bait. There you go. There's your new home. Let's catch probably four more. Then we're gonna cast them out with the uh, live target um, Alabama rig. Good 
chest. Might be done. I knew it. I knew it. This fish are just in so many numbers. It's great and terrible at the same time. Because with those, that many bluegill, the turtles come up to eat the bluegill that I catch. And then they eat my bread because they think it's good food. But having so many bluegill here is great because I can catch them with ease and get a ton of bait. But kind of annoying. Oh, let's see. I think I just cast right there. Within a second, I got one on. This is great. Oh, I didn't even hook this guy. Wait, what? Oh, I did, but it just got tangled around him. Okay, I was like, wait. That was funny. Oh! Chill, 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 chill. There we go. Go be with your friends. This water is really low though, even though it rains. I don't know. I don't know why, probably because we had a couple weeks without any rain. And it was really hot and sunny and all just evaporated, but normally it's up to, to here. And look where it is down there, so. <sighs> really low. Really, really low. And sometimes it's even up, up to this ridge right here when we get a ton of rain. It'll come all the way up to here. I love the Whopper Popper. Just such a satisfying noise. Maybe because he's back. So we're gonna wait for this bird to run. Oh, there's a hole. We're gonna wait for this bird to run. Bye bye. Bye bye. There we go. I made him run. Look at all the tilapia under him. All right, let's get to the back. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew there was a bass. Ooh, that might be a good one, too. Come here, buddy. I knew there was a bass there. I just knew it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Now that is a good fish right there. Whew. I knew there was a bass. I knew it. Ow, 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 ow. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, buddy. Let's go. I knew there would be a bass there. Rain just came. Sloppy is stacked up there. It's perfect. This could be a little complicated here. It's like wrapped around him. Ugh. Come on, hook. Cool bite too. Love top water bites. Don't know why I didn't bring my plier. It was dumb. I may have to go back to get it, but I don't with you. Here we go. Finally. That's a good fish right there. Let's just get this off here. Now this is a good bass. We got a guy. Real, real fat. There we go. Get you on your way. There's that guy. Wanna go? There he goes. Cool. I knew there would be one there. This cold is like really shallow. Oh, there's still a fish there. A little guy. Yeah, that guy was little. That was real little. And then he jumped and shook me off. Oh, it's a cool bite. I'll tell you that much. Got that one on. Recording. 
Sad me. It came off. Oh. That was cool. Look how in this shallow water. Look at this. Look how shallow it is. Right here, maybe, maybe a foot of water. All right, we're just gonna walk this and uh, cast. Those two culverts I went to both had fish. I'm telling you, after the rain, you gotta hit culverts because the water is coming out <coughs> and moving. And then those fish are like, ooh, moving water. And then the little shadow, like, ooh, moving water. And everything's just sitting there waiting for something to come through that coal booth. And you get fish. So, after a rainfall, or during a rainfall even, if you can, come out here and fish a coal boot, And you will definitely catch a bass on it. My favorite bait for this time of time of year are a wobble plopper, a uh, buckle bull, and a Carolina rig. These are my hundred go to go to bait for summer after rainfall. Carolina rig is sort of just like whenever I want to go fishing, and even if it didn't rain, I'll use a Carolina rig. But like and. The main things, especially after it rains, is definitely a wobble plopper because those fish are just ready to feed. And anytime I can get on top water bite in a good time, so that is pretty sick. There's another lake that I'm probably gonna move to real soon after I walk this one, but it's got some snook in it and some bigger fish, I hope. I caught some like four pounders out of it, so hoping there will be another one. And there's another culvert up here. So. Oh, I was not expecting that. I didn't set the hook. That scared the life out of me. Oh. All right. This one's. Oh, knew it. What did I say? Hippie a bass on it. This one's real tiny though. Come here. Nope, nope, nope. Look at this guy. Little dink. What did I say? There'd be fish on it. And caught a little dink. Maybe there's another. I doubt it though. Alrighty, just made it to the other pond. I'm gonna do a couple casts here and then I think we're gonna head out. It's getting pretty hot. Oh, fish. Come here. Yes. Whew. That's pull it so far through that stuff. No, it's, ow, ow, ow. That was pretty sick. There's a culvert there too. I knew it. I think we're gonna need a plier for this one. This one seems pretty well hooked. Right in the bottom of the mouth. All right, let's get the plier out. Oh, oh, oh. Calm down, calm down, calm down. There we go, just like that. And uh, that's a nice bass. I'm gonna let you go. And you. Well, this is all tangled up, so I think that's how we're gonna end the day. And uh, let's head to an outro. Let's go. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I know I said I was going to do bluegill, but I guess I didn't really turn out. And uh, I did some top water fishing, so that was pretty fun. And uh, I really do hope you liked this video. And if you did like the video, please drop a like and subscribe and share this with your friends. And uh, peace.